Hey everybody, this is Dave and the world's most dangerous Bessie here at Pulp Alley. And today we're playing another game for you all. We're continuing this cool, fun campaign that we've had going. Say hello to the boys and girls, Bessie. Hello, boys and girls. Uh, this is all part of the Pulp Alley tabletop adventure game. Very, very cool game. All right, so this is part of the Tomb of the Serpent campaign. And gosh, we've played through how many scenarios of this have you played? Quite a few, four. Yeah, yeah. There was, uh, she started off in Netherlands uh, doing the, t the, the thing in the well scenario. Mm -hmm. She got her relic uh, there, and then she went to Cairo, and mm -hmm. she played, I guess, uh, three scenarios there. So I yeah. guess that, yeah, yeah, you played the uh, Buried Secrets mm -hmm. and uh, the Shady Deals, and, uh, oh, yeah. uh, and then the one in the museum, too. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what that one was. Um, and now she has gathered enough information that she believes she could track down the tomb of Apophis now. And so off she goes into the desert to, to uh, track down the tomb of Apophis. The first uh, challenge is crossing the great burning desert. She has successfully done that. So right now they're at a small oasis trying to replenish their supplies and everything. And while they're at the oasis, uh, Lady Elaine is off kind of exploring a little bit. She's like, oh, uh, I saw something. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Millie is off frolicking in the water. Yeah. And uh, Dundee is kind of scouting around. And while he is off scouting on his own... As usual, he gets into trouble. He gets into trouble. He gets into trouble. Uh... The shadow of Apophis, the shadow of the burning desert, appears before him, glistening, Freshly gold, oiled. gold skinned shadow of Apophis rises up out of the sand and is going to put the beat down on Lucky Dundee. He's going to try. He's definitely going to try. So this scenario is uh, the death trap scenario out of the basic rule book. So uh, death trap is one of the basic scenarios. Normally, you would have more than one character, but in this situation, there is only the shadow of Apophis as it tries to take on Dundee. Now, the shadow of Apophis is basically, uh, remember that Apophis is still entombed, in his prison, and so this this is merely a mental projection um, that has been brought to life by the power of his mind and is attacking Lucky Dundee. We're starting turn number one. This is Death Trap, part of the Tomb of the Serpent. And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is the space button? I think so. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Mine explode. Oh, I think it's okay, going. Okay, turn number one. I immediately realize I got to do some jukes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we're going to move six inches. Now, I have the handy-dandy wings of celerity. Cele celerity. Uh -huh. uh-huh. And so I'm going to use that to my advantage. That's right, yeah. And I want to snatch two of your... So the very first thing she does is um, she, um, of course, she had to do a peril yeah. when he activated so close to Apophis there. Um, and easy peasy, he, he's, uh, he gets past the challenge pretty easily, moves away. He also passed his horror check. Uh, and then he uses the greater power of the, uh, of the Wings of Celerity to steal two powers. Two. What do you steal? I take Rampage and I take Quick Shot. Very cool. Very cool. Pew, pew. So I was actually looking forward to using the the uh, the the Shadow of the Burning Desert. And I was like, dang it! Now uh, she pulled two of its powers away, uh, and then she hit him with an out of ammo as soon as he activates. So his ability to shoot, which is what he's really good at, was just wiped out on turn number one. And so I think you know what. If, if that's the way she wants to play, I'll just change into the Shadow of Chaos, which is much more of a brawly 
Which sort ruined of. my entire plan of attack. Yeah, and I, I'm still not 100% sure that it's the way I should have gone. I almost feel like maybe I should have rushed him here, but I, I felt like if I get the if I get the uh, the shadow of chaos out, so that's what I do here. I move six inches, and then he shimmers and transforms. Ooh, ooh I saw the shimmer. Into the shadow of chaos. And then uh, far away on the other side, Bessie, what's going on over here? Well, Lady Elaine is always on the lookout for goodies. Uh-huh. So she sees a box of equipment, and she's uh -huh. like, oh, I should probably check this because yep. I didn't pack it, and he probably forgot all the food. <laughs> and then Millie <laughs> just wanders over to, a, I believe, a priest. Okay. All right. So there's uh, Elaine coming up uh, to check the supplies. Millie going off to uh, inspect uh, a wandering priest. I think Those he might have food in his pocket. A p couple of the minor plot points. And that basically ended turn number yep. one. So as we start turn, not turn number two, Bessie is still the director. What are you doing here? Well, I'm going to go with Lucky. And am I shooting you? No, you just take off running. Oh, that's right. Because the better part of... Well, I don't even know, but I gotta move fast. Right. I can't stay in one spot. Lucky can't stay in one spot very long, so uh, Lucky activates. He just takes off running twelve. Well, inches. I think like mentally, maybe you can't handle a race. Right, right, right. And he's fast. He's you know we're Lucky on the track. Is fast, star. fast on his feet. So he takes off running. Um, and what and are you gonna do? And then uh, she makes Apophis activate, and see, I can't even rush him now because he's, he's over 12 inches away. Um, he's got the rampage. He's got the uh, uh, perilous area around him, so I can't even rush him. So I'm just, like, shadowing him and moving along kind of to the side here. Um, right at this point, I, I really feel like I've made a big mistake here, but, man, what do you do to try and get through all of this? Because anyway, that is the bad shooting one mm -hmm. your other one uh -huh. quite yeah see shooting. this one isn't the shooty version and maybe i should have just stuck with the shooty version i don't know i'm not exactly sure what even happened here oh i did it i did do a shooting i did, did do a, a shoot. shooting here I, I am trying really hard to to cause some injury lucky doesn't get injured mm -hmm. though mm -hmm. uh and of course apophis takes a couple hits but he shakes it off as well and he's not injured either that armored ability comes in handy that armored ability sure. was really good see that's an uh, well you couldn't have stole that one because he didn't have that <laughs> the other version then elaine activates what's she doing we're gonna we're gonna open up the stuff double checking the supplies i have to double check lucky's work. she hears the shooting and she decides you yeah. know what he's got it covered what what can i possibly do what? i need to check our food and I pass it. She easily passes the peril. Lady Elaine, very, very I'm not seldom. afraid of snakes. Yeah, not afraid Goodbye. of that snake. Goodbye. Uh, and then she draws the plot point card. I believe it was a cunning and, you know. Cunning or might, it looks like. Because I... And, yeah, you got four I was the on one that. that picked the code for that lock, so I should know what the code is. Oh, right, right, absolutely. And she gets... Uh, a reward card pulls that up. Now it's Millie activating. What's Millie gonna do? She's gonna check for food. Oh, somebody I play a danger card. I play a danger card on her. Is a little dangerous. So she gets a random peril. Mm -hmm. oh, she I passes pass it. it. No big That's deal. not a big deal. Don't worry about it. But then she's got to take on uh, the priest the wandering priest as so she moves up to attempt the plot point of course uh you get a big peril a here big peril. You get a big one it looks like shoot finesse or cunning which she's got decent finesse she did not get three successes did, did not. not so that means yeah. she's gonna have to roll a three dice health check yeah this doesn't go well is she gonna pass this one i think i get a boo-boo yeah. And she is that was darn injured. Tunes. Millie is injured. She can't pass up a banana. And this is turn two. Millie's injured. Uh, that pretty much ends the turn, yep. right? Then we go to our recovery checks. We, yeah, we recover. Oh, she recovers. K 
can't keep a good monkey down. No sir, Bob. And we're already starting turn three, and Apophis is having a really hard time chasing down Lucky Dundee. Lucky Dundee suddenly reverses direction and just quick. takes off running the other way. He passed his horror check. He breaks a lot of ankles that way. What are you doing here? You're just running the other way now. Well, we're a little close to the people, and then you do something naughty. So Apophis activates, and I, I just can't catch Lucky, so instead I go after the monkey. Uh, sweet Lucky monkey. fails her horror check. She is shaken. She is shaken. That's nice. And Apophis goes on the attack here. It's rolling four die 12 to attack with. Only gets three successes, though. There's no way she's going to be able to dodge that 12. I think you were trying to dodge here, weren't you? I did, yeah. and I with discarded, 5D12, 5D8. Uh, one hit gets through to that 12. She couldn't yeah. dodge that. Uh, but she is not injured. Doggone it. All right. And then, uh, so that was Apophis and Lucky... So now Millie goes. Millie activates. Again, She's uh, she passes her horror check. And she's going to try and, she's gonna try and dodge try and during dodge the it. fight. Um, okay, two fives and a four. So she could dodge that. She's rolling four. Five, you because discard I used again, my, huh? I use my other ability. Yeah, so she's uh, got up to five D8. She only needs, and she did not get it. No. She did not get it. That means one hit's going to get through, and that's going to stop her from being able to disengage. She's going to have to roll a little dice health check, and this time she is injured. Yeah. Poor this baby. time the monkey squeals out. Wonder what Elaine's going to do. Is it? Elaine we runs saw away. Really, no, Elaine we didn't run away. We did not away. run away. We saw a very interesting statue that needed our attention. Okay. That's all it was. All right. Hmm? I expect you guys to be able to handle yourselves. So Elaine just moves over to investigate a statue. Recovery checks failed. Failed. Uh, Millie did not recover from her injury or her horror. And yeah. now we're starting turn four. And I have I've basically decided to ignore Lucky Dundee, who is the major plot point for this scenario. Luckily, he decides to run back towards me. That is a real hero right there, boys and girls. So he runs back towards Apophis. Um, Elaine attempts the plot point here. Yeah, we, uh, we're going to get in here. We're going to find out what this uh, statue she does is. She passes I do pass her my peril. peril. Remember, she gets to draw a card every time she passes the challenge. Uh, and then she has to do the, uh, the plot point. And it doesn't go as well. It doesn't go as well. It does not go as well. Does not go as well. I think I. How could you? Oh, look at that! You only got one success. I needed two, and I only got one. She needed two. Yeah, only got one success there, uh, but it counts. So the next time she tries, she'll she'll only need one success. Millie now activates. She's still entangled. Uh, she passed her horror check. She's still entangled with Apophis. Oh, and he, I throw an unseen mm. peril at mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. And Dirty she dog. needs, uh, fail. she fails the peril. She's going to take t two hits. And, I and fail she it. is down. Millie is down. Which now. gives Lucky an <coughs> opportunity. It gives Apophis an opportunity. It gives Lucky an opportunity. It gives Apophis an opportunity because Apophis activates next and jumps on Lucky. And guess Rawr! what? Guess what, Pally? Don't you remember what happens this time? What? Oh, well, I have that. to roll for a peril because I'm moving into this perilous area because he stole my rampage. So Apophis uh, passes his peril here. No big deal there. And Lucky fails his horror. Mm. I could have used a really good one here, but I got him unbalanced. That's going to make it a little bit harder for him to run away from me. But I don't think at this point he ends up running. In this one, uh, both of us score four, four hits, hits in that fight. That was a lot of beating down. Uh, do a take them all. Apophis is injured. injured. So I did not roll four successes. Remember, Apophis is armored, so but not, not enough for that. And Apophis takes an injury, 
And she plays, Bessie plays a stay down. Stay down, stay down. Okay, now I'm hurt, but you don't have a stay down to play on me, so. Um, hmm. Whatever. I think we'll find a little interesting recovery check here where uh, Lucky passes his. What? Significant, oh, significantly it. passes it. Dang it, dang it. What about, what about. Um, but what, Millie, what Millie's about coming Millie? back. Millie's coming back, sir. Millie? Yes, she uh, is. Look at that. You played that beautiful six. And she played that stay down on me, so I don't even get to roll it a recovery get a check. Millie is still mm -hmm. injured, and my gosh, this is this is not going good for the I do not for the for the servants of Apophis. Get uh, to throw away any of my horrors. Yep, yeah, she keeps her horror I'm effects. Stuck with that. And what's what's Elaine doing? We're starting turn five now. Once I start a project, I can't stop. And so Elaine, Elaine is still to... off wandering in the desert. She's not wandering. So she passes her peril. Uh, and in the plot point, because we knew what it was. Yeah, yeah, she already knows what the plot point is. So, she's able to pass both of those. Mm -hmm. Now, Apophis activates next. Oh, I played a distraction she, she, on you. Bessie plays a distraction on him, uh, and he's going to have to face a random peril. Uh, but he he passed. passes the peril. Uh, and here I decide to use my uh, buy some time. I used my buy some time card, and I was really thinking I wanted to draw a couple cards, but I instead I decided to extend the scenario mm. by one yeah. turn, and that actually helps. Uh, so I'm rolling four die ten because I'm injured. I only get three successes, a six, a four, and a five. What's lucky you get? Uh, I think we're doing what? Four die ten? Since I am recovered? Probably. Yeah, so and two fives and an eight. Two fives and an eight. Since uh, I'm really trying to do as much damage as I can, yeah. every time I just say take them all and hoping that I can get some damage through on Lucky. Uh, let's see where we at. Lucky is also... I got yep. a boo-boo. Yep. So Lucky is injured there. Yep, your take them all's paid off. So now if I could just stop his dang recoveries. Apophis, Apophis is, is not, not injured. injured this time, so um, avoided that. That's nice. And what are we going to here? Is this... I think it's Millie. Millie. And so I think that was her horror her check, horror yeah. Check. And yeah. so now she's going to take What's off. What's she going to do? So she just takes off running. She's, she's she, she doesn't even want to deal with the, the wandering priest. She no. just takes off running. Lucky says, hey, hey. Well, she had the horror that took off her cunning... And finesse, so yeah. it didn't make yeah. sense to try yeah. the plot point. She she was shaken, so she or she was kind of messed up there. Uh, the brawl continues here with Apophis. Both of them have Moxie, so mm -hmm. neither one of them are losing dice. Uh, Lucky scores hurt. four successes yeah, again. Nice. Uh, Apophis gets only three successes. Now, Lucky decides to do a little bit of blocking here. Remember that Lucky's uh, goal here is to basically yeah. stay alive. Yeah, I almost didn't, but then I thought, no, I need to survive. So we block two of them. She blocks two, and that means she's only going to have to roll a one-dice health check. And I think Apophis is going to have to roll a two-dice health check. Yeah. Lucky is not injured. Um, and then Apophis is also going to have to roll to see if he's injured. And Apophis is not injured either. Okay. All right. So we recover. Now we go to the recovery checks. Uh, so that was a failure. I don't know. If that I think was that was for Millie. Probably. She doesn't recover anything. And re failed again. And I don't think I passed any horror checks. Yeah. Or horror. So recovery. here we are, starting turn six of seven. Now it's now I bumped it up a turn. So now we got uh, basically turn six and turn seven to go. Elaine and Millie are just off wandering around trying. No, we're saying lucky over here. <laughs> let's go. We don't have time for this. <laughs> Quit playing with your new friend and let's go. That's true. Let's go find the two. So lucky <laughs> is activating first here. Uh, he passes his horror check. Man, I wish I could have got more horror on that guy. Yeah, that was handy. He really avoided my horror. Really didn't, really didn't pay off in this one. So, gosh, Lucky got like four successes again. 
Um, three and I successes. only got three successes, but he's not going to be able to deal with that 12. Although he got more successes than Apophis did, uh, none of his dice can handle that 12. That's a, that's a big advantage to rolling those bigger yeah. dice. So I block two again. Yep. So she blocks two again. Both of us are going to have to roll health checks. Oh. oh, she failed. That 12 paid off, and Lucky Ooh. is injured. I still got time, boys and girls. I can still put him down. I can still put him down. Let's see what happens here. Now, Apophis he rolls his health pass check it, yeah. and passes it. Now, uh, so Apophis isn't injured, and I don't think I've activated Apophis yet. Nope. So now Apophis gets to activate. I got lucky on the ropes. The brawl is continuing. This time I get Ooh. four successes. Here we go. Here we go. It really doesn't matter what lucky rolls because I'm going to say take them all regardless of what mm -hmm. happens here. The, I'm out for blood. He only gets two successes and I say take them all. He's going to have to roll a four dice. Health check. Now, luckily, I have an I'm oh. all right. I'm all right. She got the luckiest card. She just got those cards that she needed right when she needed them. She plays the I'm all right, and uh, I'm not able to, uh, to get an injury on her there. Uh, and, of course, Apophis isn't injured either one. So, man, that I'm all right really cost mm -hmm. me. Now it's recovery checks. Uh, looks like Lucky stays injured. Yeah, Millie stays oh, injured. Oh, another fail. Is that it? Uh, oh. And my horse, uh, and, 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 and I don't. And, and, yep, pass yep, any yep. Horse. Lots of failures. Uh, very good there. Very yeah. good. Very good. So now it's the last turn, and I still have a chance, boys and girls. I got to put him down. Ducky Dundee activates. And he uses his breakaway card. Yay, lucky. Boo! Woo, woo, woo. The fight starts and he uses breakaway and escapes from my grasp. Again, lucky dang draw. Lucky dang yeah, draw. That was, on that me. was really nice. I just could not get, could not stop her. Uh, lucky got lucky on this one. That was. The I'm all right and the breakaway. See, she drew those right when she needed them too. You know, like that could drew those right when she needed them. And now Apophis closes in. At this point, it's really just sour grapes. I don't have any chance of putting him down and and uh, capturing him. So uh, I'm uh, had to face a, a, a peril there. Uh, and it was against my finesse, so that's yeah. why that's that definitely his, his, one. <laughs> that's his weak spot. So um, let's see. Lucky passed his horror check yeah. for me moving into contact, and then the fight continues. Uh, Apophis gets three uh, successes. Yeah, three successes. Lucky uh, is throwing his brawl dice back. Uh, you know, I'm going to say take them all. There's no, there's no other option here. Right. So I'm going to try and deliver as much beat down as I possibly can. Uh, Lucky is injured again. He's down to a D6 yeah. health. I got him hanging by a thread. But at that moment, poof, you know, the magic begins to fade. And the shadow of chaos, you know, crumbles yeah. into the sand. Yeah. Ah! I think that breakaway was like the be all end all. That was. Because if tough. I hadn't gotten that, mm -hmm. then you would have, I would have got injured once, and then whenever yeah. you activated, yeah. you probably would have put yeah, me down. Probably. So. Yeah. That so one was that, that was, was huge. really really close. The breakaway and the I'm all right. And the I'm all right. Yeah. Because if I'd have been able to injure you there, yeah, you know that would have been another big one to to just that whole series. But it also kind of goes back to the very beginning of that scenario and uh, whether or not I should have just stayed in the shadow of the burning yeah. sands form instead of switching into the shadow of chaos. Yeah. Uh, when he stole my Rampage ability, that made it really hard because he had a perilous area around him. Mm -hmm. So if he was over six inches away from me, I could not rush him. 
You know, it was impossible for me to move over six inches through a perilous area, right? So it was it was really hard to come to grab to come to grips with him. Yeah, I think that Luckily, was the best one that I stole. Yeah. Because yeah. I used quick shot, I think, once. But yeah, quick shot, I think I she did know use that it one, necessarily one time. Yeah. Yeah. Added too much. But that rampage one, I think that Yeah, helped. rampage really paid off. What else would you have stolen if you'd have stolen something I don't different? Know. Um I think there was one about dice. Let's see. So he has uh, Rampage, Impervious, uh, makes him minus one to be shot. Yeah. Veteran, um, let's see. Quick shot, Sharp is a reroll for shooting and finesse. Speedy may run up to 16 yeah. inches. That I might, thought about that one. That might have been scary. At like the last second, uh, and then I the had to bless the shapeshifter ability. And then he has these down here, big, clever, marksman, and inhuman. Yeah. So there's a lot of different abilities on there. And that is whenever the Shadow of Apophis is on the table, uh, because she has that relic of the old gods, she can, she can call on that relic to suck two mm -hmm. of Apophis's abilities out yeah. and steal them. That's what, the, that's what that magic item does. Very, very yeah. cool. Boys and girls, I hope you are enjoying these uh, Sunday games with us. Uh, we would like to reach a point where we can start inviting folks back in to play. Uh, so, uh, you know, expect some invites to go out yeah. soon. Maybe I will make you guys play against Bessie. We will be doing it on a different day. So we're yeah. going to still take a break from the live video. So we will probably record these either on Fridays or Saturdays or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a little more flexible for folks out there that would like to take part in this with us. And we'll just simply pre-record the video and then do it as a premiere on Sundays. Yeah. So we can all get together uh, as a community and have a lot of fun and chat about the games and ask questions and all that kind of fun stuff. Yeah. Bessie, anything else you want to say? Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Really good point. All right. That's it for today, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye, <laughs> That was a lot of fun.